Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Siege video. I think we are, yeah, we're still in D3, rank 20, not too bad. Uh, we did get second place last Siege with an 88% win rate, not too shabby, but Phantomo had 91, very nice. It looks like everybody's trying to outspeed it, so I'm going to try it. Hope that works. I will reserve this one. Uh, what's our winner right now? Before I go in, 85, not too good. Total Hoes, 92%. Okay, they have a way better win rate than we do. A lot of 10 zeros right there. And Mafia has an 80% win rate. Our defense is um 2-9, I think. 2-9. There was a couple of changes. And this is how they look like. So it looks like this change, the Clara change, is doing a lot better. While as the Nigong Bayek is doing horribly. And then we made these two changes on top, which did get two wins today. I won't show you guys the runes of it right away. It'll be probably by the end of the season or when we have to change it again. But just know that my swift runes are really bad. Now, outspeeding is one thing. However, them not being on will is another thing. Because if they're on will, then we're going to do a lot less damage. Oh, we'll do more damage, but we're not going to get defense break. I hope we kill the Siri. Damn, even if the truffle lives, we're in big trouble. Yeah, we're in big trouble. Beyond Violent. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, freak. We did it. I'm gonna do this. Oh, he resisted. How the heck did he resist that? Oh, my freaking God. If he didn't resist that, then we would have been okay. Well, we know he's on swift so we could just solution it to be fair we will work on the artifacts here because we want to do damage more on dark i wonder if i have anything good there anyways 12 percent seems good enough yeah this should do it they're not gonna outspeed this and i doubt they're gonna survive this only the escher should survive no not even the escher Okay, just for this, I think it is now time. I think it's now time to finally just skill up my second fame. I know that without the skill ups, it's just not going to perform ideally. So I think just for the sake of Siege, I should skill the second one up. I'm going to do it. I think we need it. Because I know without the skills on skill one, the defense break is very unreliable. So I think this is the bare minimum, minimum that I have to do. And it's actually smart for me because it allows me to build a second Fang just for Leo. And yep, 100%. Although accuracy is a little low, we'll work with this. There's that. We'll also take Leo. But my Leo is a little scuffed. I'm worried about that. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. And then I guess we'll have to take a Aliyah. Perfect. Very tanky Aliyah. Okay, let's try this. Uh, we do want to kill this guy first. It's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Let's just go on this guy right away. Look at that damage. I'm kind of worried though. Uh, let's put defense buff. Big damage. Awesome. Exactly what I needed. You're dead. Uh, let's just heal with skill 1. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, go for Fang. Fang's pretty tanky as well. Now we put this up because Perna could go for Fang. Perfect. And now we start healing up. It's going to give some turns or attack bar to the Kapsu, but that's okay. Look at that damage, guys. Dude, it shreds. 6k per hit. Holy cow. Oh, so close. Oh, he killed himself. He win. Awesome. Dude, Fang. Fang definitely needs skill ups, guys. Don't go easy on your skill ups. It's needed. It's needed. That was so easy. What the heck? Wow, a lot of people failed. Oh, no, they just didn't go into it. Okay, I think this is not going to work, but I'm going to reserve one. Where Gilman lost twice. 
I'm gonna not outspeed it, because I don't think I can outspeed it, but I'm gonna take in my Kinky plus a Fennec off, and then take in a Tetra. This should be 100 res. It should be. I'm kind of worried about the pushbacks. We might get a win though, who knows. I'm hoping for that win though. Okay, dude, that's a lot of damage still. Ooh, stun hurts. Okay, good thing we have Will. Um, I really need a proc, dude. This is bad. I don't want the damage to go into Kinky. Can I get a proc? No proc. Don't proc. Oh, he's on despair. Okay, wait, this is good. Don't proc. Okay. Let's do it. Perfect. Okay, de defense break on both the dark units. So big damage. That's good. Okay. The window appeared. The window has appeared. Get out of here. Get out of here. And it's a swift Escher, so he really does not have carry potential here. <laughs> the Fennica did it, guys. The Fennica did it. <laughs> Stun your ass. <laughs> oh, man. Fennica. It's crazy how it works sometimes. Boom. Increase your cooldown. <laughs> oh, it's so good. No stun. Kill yourself. Okay. Hey, we took two of them, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to reserve one more because I do think we have another team that we could use. Which is using the Shaman. Okay, so that's Lulu. We need this to be a little faster than the Shaman. Our Shaman is really slow. I need to fix this. Crit rate's a little low. Oh, wait, wait. We want... We want good, oh, we need, we need good rest. So we need at least 50% rest here. This could work. 93. Let's get in. Okay, this guy's on violent. We know that. Okay, perfect. I'm not going to do the big damage yet. Oh, but we do. Oh, shoot. It's very squishy. Uh-oh. Perfect. Kind of sucks that we're not going to get any will, but we did cleanse all of that. That's a good stun on his part. Okay, let's get his... Siri out of the way. Attack break is huge. Okay, that's fine. Okay, another proc. That's fine. Attack break. You don't have it yet. Oh, slow is kind of annoying. Hmm. I think we need to save the Lulu. So I'm going to use it here. Come on. Proc here? No. Okay, I have a window here. Oh! That was the window. We missed the crit! Freak! We missed the damn crit there? It's not over. Oh, we killed. Okay, cool. Wow, we actually crit when there was a... <laughs> glancing. Right? That's funny. It's okay, we're gonna we're gonna be okay. Oh, uh, maybe not. Defense break? Okay, attack break is good too. Oh, that's a good proc on his side though. Okay, he changed targets. That's good. <laughs> awesome. I'm just gonna do this. Oh my goodness, non-defense break damage is great. We don't have to do it. Just save. Uh, I'm gonna put up myself, because again, skill 3 is annoying. We don't want to get pushed back on the Lulu because the Lulu is our healer. Come on. Defense break? Nice. We got it. Oh, he got the stun this time. Oh, never mind. Get out of here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we're not going to do crazy damage because this guy's a light unit. So we do need a defense break here. Nice. V Ugh. Guys, go for a hundred crit rate if you don't want to go through the stress. Defense break. 
But uh, this guy has speed buff though. It's a two turn defense break, thankfully though. And he's on Swift, so he's not gonna proc. Big damage, that's good. Heal block was huge. Do you have skill two again? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We try one more. Let me see if there's anything else I could do. I do have, I don't have a Lulu anymore. I should really be making a second Lulu. But Rukuni's base stats are pretty bad. That's why I like Tetra. I should build more Tetras, to be fair. I have another light tank that I could use called Alicia. I have another Dia, so Dia, Alicia, but then Alicia needs to be on a damage build. It's never gonna be as good as... Well, I guess it can be somewhat as good since she doesn't get defense broken. So if you get a, if you get a decreased defense, where defense will increase, and if you get decreased attack speed, where attack speed will increase. This is actually very good. It's a good counter against that girl. Okay. I guess it's just meant for us. We just have to try it. We go all in. I think she needs another build though. Sometimes I feel like she needs to be able to set out for herself. I think I'm gonna go do a Diaz again. Again with damage mitigation. Kind of goes with her own kit. Delicia's kit. Okay, so that's the Diaz again. Taking less damage from light. Okay, and here comes the Alicia. But what is our healer? Uh, this is always the hard part. I want to say Rakuni, but I think Rakuni is a little lackluster. Uh, we could try this. Uh, it's pretty squishy. Not too happy with the uh, stats. That's a good Rakuni. And take less damage from light or and dark. Let's see. That one is good. Dark and light. Oh, we don't even need 100 rest because this comes with it. Okay, let's reroute the Alicia because this build is not going to work. I don't need the res on this girl. Wait, because then that means if I have 100 res on these two, I could go with this lead. Perfect. Uh, I think you have to go violent on this girl and it needs to be a damage, damage type. This looks good. Let's try this. We might be a little too slow, but let's hope that Rakuni could keep giving turns. See how things go. I I really should have gotten one of this on, um, on revenge. Right. Hope this one's also on Swift. It is on. What is it? It might be. I didn't know. I saw the attack bars. I think it was almost the same. Dang! Why didn't she use her skill three? Okay, there's a defense break. We definitely want to cleanse that. So let's do this. Cleanse. Perfect. We have to kill this girl first. Okay, this is the window. Oh. Okay. Freak, wait. Oh, the stun? Oh, man. Proc? Oh, I forgot a proc. Dad, the defense break is not there anymore. Dude, the stun's too much. I mean, it's not over. Because Rakuni is so quick. That's really good. It's really good that Rakuni is really quick. Just don't stun. Defense break? Okay. Okay, get rid of proc. Oh, freak. Oh, here comes this. That's the scary skill. Okay, wait. Oh, the glancing. But we have defense buff right now. Crit. <laughs> Crap. We have defense buff. That's really good. Oh, three turn defense break is kind of scary though. I'm just going to do this. That's fine. Attack break. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. Wait, wait. Wait, actually, Rukuni getting... Oh, that's a lot. Rukuni getting targeted is really bad. But now we're going to start healing ourselves. Wait, you can win this. I think we did it. Get out of here. <laughs> um, Defense break? Nope. Yeah, yeah, go for her. Go for her. Perfect. I want her to get defense broken. She has defense buff right now. That's her passive, okay, guys? That's her passive. She has defense buff. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. The beast. Nice defense break. Oh, no proc. Okay. Oh, wow. What was that rest? Dude, he really lands his defense break well. Boom. Lackluster. It's all good. I want to get rid of Rakuni's defense break really quickly. So we just give him a turn, give her a turn right away. Defense break, defense break, 
Let's kill one. Oh, defense break. Nope. We missed defense break three times. <gasps> but I think we won this. We won, guys. We won. And the Escher is on Swift. So there was a lot of traps on this one. A lot was on Swift. Good thing we didn't take Julie anymore. Nice. What boom 10k. Good thing I went violent. Violent was the right build. Oh, he's so quick that he lapped us. That's all good. Oh, uh, let's just go do this. Heal block? No heal block. See how he laps us? <laughs> Get away. Nice guys. We did it. We took four of them. Okay, guys. The siege is over. However, I did record the remainder of my battle, so we'll take a look at that. Sadly, we got second place, which is totally understandable as our win rate was lower. It was just a very fair fight. Toto Host just had a very good win rate uh, compared to everybody else. So we had 84%, not that great of a win rate, right? It is slowly falling as soon as we came up to G3. Toto Host with 88% and Mafia with 83 So actually, Mafia was very close to us, but I guess... Some members left during the siege. It was kind of weird because I remember they had 750, but it ended with 690. But it was a very fun match. Let's go check out the remainder battles. Let's go check out the remaining battles. So this was one of the battles. It was against a Carcano with the Pyongchar with Zerath. I just switched some runes to give the Lydia the build that she was usually on which I was using on the Dova. Dova looks okay, but it's a lot slower on Eludia due to the base speed difference. And then we reruned the uh, Prowl's Velg on the fastest Swift set. Because we didn't have a speed lead on this team, it was not too safe, especially if somehow those units were all on violent. Well, I don't know if he had that great of a rune quality. If he did, it was like probably god level quality where it had to be at least a 300 plus violence set to outspeed us. Yeah, it had to be a 300 set, a, a 300 set or a 299 set at the very least to have a chance to outspeed us in this format because they have a speed lead and we don't. Uh, but thankfully, I think that was not the case. It was a very quick battle. Two units were not on will. As you see right there, we did outspeed. Let's see how much damage you do. I never took into account of how much damage this actually did. Around 30k, 35k per hit. Now, this was another one against the Chandra Pyeongchur with the Kiki. Took in our Belial team. I am definitely going to keep a second Belial if I get one. Just way too good in this format, and the fact that I have three Camillas, I could do this three times if I just get two more Belial's. I actually have to check if Belial's the uh, summoning stone for this week. If it is, I might actually go for it. Although it's a dupe, it's a very useful dupe. Rena or the Windies are free, right? I can build multiple of them. So I think it'll be very good to have. I totally forgot about that beneficial block on Rena kind of wrecks us against that Kiki. We do not get the shield when we have that on. So it's actually super smart to make the arena fairly fast as well. So it's just not like a mad turtle where the opponent takes 20 turns while the arena takes one turn because then she'll never get her beneficial block off. Thankfully, I think in this build, my arena is around 200 speed, like plus 100. So she did actually take turns. Thankfully, the beneficial block is only a one turn debuff. And we did give 100 rest to Rina, probably a prerequisite. Everybody should build it on 100 rest. So um, Kiki wasn't landing it all the time, the beneficial block, which allowed Rina to survive and take all these hits. See, like this is a very, very scary instance right here. Thankfully, she did not, she did not land any uh, heal block. Yeah. And with Camila also being decently fast, I think it's like 260 speed, two, yeah, 260, 267, something like that. Um, so we are getting heals outside of Rina's heal. I should have actually sped this up because this takes forever. I'll just stop it once it kills the Kiki. It's just very simple stuff. Once the block comes back with skill two, Kiki gets sniped. And really after that point, it's a win because Pyeongchar itself cannot kill the 
uh, Rina and Camila, especially when both of these units are not on destroy. So I think that was a big flaw on this defense, and I was able to win against this. Don't want to speak too much more of it. We did win right there. Then we went against this t defense. Now I think it's been pretty much exploited to oblivion. If you use a Clover lead in the virtual defenses, I think almost 9 out of 10 people are going to try the Julie team because of the speed lead difference. And unless you make it a Julie trap, it's going to be a sure win. It's very hard for this team to win if they get out sped. And it's kind of funny because if they don't have will, then you get defense broken. If they do have will, you take more damage due to Julie's skill 3 condition. But I do think putting them on all will and also putting a lot of damage resistance from water uh, is the way to go to at least make it Julie proof. Or you go a Swift, Vigor, Escher, any of those so that you outspeed the Bernard, which also makes it pretty much a loss for the opponent that comes in with it. Okay, the final battle was against this defense using the Giselle, Pyeongchar, and Camila. Uh, I think this defense is just, I mean, sorry, this offense is really strong, especially when you have it with the Camila. Naturally, Pyeongchar takes Tessarion really well initially. I mean, that's a different story once he starts getting low, but in the beginning, it's really easy. And with Giselle's secondary protection it becomes really hard to kill anybody in this team if you start controlling that more now this more was on violence so it did have more chance of chances of landing that strip uh but i did focus it first as you can see i'm kind of debating should i kill the savannah or more um i tried to go for the stun on the savannah because i thought that the more had his passive but that wasn't the case i checked with it and it didn't have it we didn't crit but you can see that more procs right there um, so I believe at a certain point, I tried to get rid of his passive. Oh no, he still didn't have it. That's interesting. I thought he would have it by now, especially by the fact that he procced. But that's very good for me. He is very close to dying like that. And I believe at that point, it's just GG. Because first of all, the Camila just tanks the Savannah forever. And then the Pyong Char gets controlled by Camila forever. So Camila is just so good. Reason why I posted that video last week saying that if I get more Camilas, I'll keep even more of them right now. Now, I might start regretting that choice if Camila ever gets nerfed, uh, where she loses her crazy uh, stuff that is super good in AD and also Siege offense. Uh, but right now, it's just too good to ignore. It's almost like almost a free win in a lot of cases. I know there are times when you lose with it as well, but I think most of those times is when uh, I make stupid choices. We ended with a 9-1, I believe. Contra uh, let's, how do we see it? Oh, battle record, right? Yeah, I believe I ended at 9-1. Yeah, 9-1, 6-13. So our defense did decently well. I think 6-13 is actually not bad in this level. If you look at the defenses, um, this actually got two wins, which is awesome. It did start losing later, and it was more against Mafia, but that was pretty cool. This was not used this entire siege. Uh, I'm gonna switch this one. I think I'm gonna get rid of Nigong and put just Theomars or something. And this one got some nice wins today. Three against Total Hose, which I think was a very big feat. Yeah, but that was it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope you guys, again, are enjoying Siege, are enjoying my Siege content. Again, please put in the comments below if you guys wanna see specific Siege content or any other content. I'll try my best to make that if i feel like it fits the if it's the channel obviously why not if it's related to summoners war i'll try my best to make more content and i hope that you guys enjoy the content i put out but that was it and i hope to see you guys next time bye